Hi guys, this is Andrew with headphones.com. Welcome to the headphone show and today we're going to do a comparison between the Focal Clear, the Hi-Fi Man Aria, and the Odyssey LCD X. Now these are all headphones that come in at somewhat of a similar price. The LCD X, you can find this actually without the case for around $1,200, so it's the cheapest of the bunch. The Focal Clear is around $1,500 and the Hi-Fi Man Aria is a little more expensive at around $1,600. So these are all high-end headphones, I'm hesitant to say flagship because there are higher end versions of each of these from each of these companies. I often get asked to compare these three and I think it makes sense because these are some of the most popular options in the $1,000 to $2,000 price range. So let's take a look. Now, just as we get going here, I want to mention that the Hi-Fi Man Aria is the only one of the bunch that requires some kind of amplifier. You should probably use an amplifier and a DAC for the other two as well, but they are considerably more efficient than the Hi-Fi Man Aria. Um, this one does take a little bit of power to drive. You don't need a crazy amplifier for this. I think even like a, you know, THX789 would be more than enough power for this or IFI, IDST, Micro Black Label, something like that. Um, and I've been running these, all three of these, off of multiple different sources, including the uh, IFI Pro IDSD right here, and also the MyTech Liberty, and the Kai IHA6, and the uh, Oris Audio Uterpy, and F SPL Fonitor X. So, I, you know, I've run the gamut with sources on this stuff. And my general take is that while all of them perform well, the only one that really requires that kind of vamping is the Hi-Fi Man Aria. Now, just before we get started, I want to let you know that I've taken measurements of all three of these on the Gross standardized measurement rig, and I've posted those on the headphone community forum. So if you guys want to see those measurements, check out some of the links in the description, which will take you to them, and you can see how these all stack up against one another and analyze the frequency response at your heart's content. But let's begin by talking about the design and build quality and comfort. The first thing I want to mention is that the both the Hi-Fi Man Aria and the Odyssey LCD X are planar magnetic headphones while the Focal Clear is a dynamic driver headphone and that means that you're going to have some different sonic characteristics as well and once again if you guys want to learn more about the differences in driver type I'll leave more links in the description for that uh, but uh, the general difference is that for the planar magnetic headphones you have a diaphragm that is well in this case it's between two sets of magnets and there's a trace a conductive trace on the diaphragm and that's how you create the pistonic motion. It's Im uh, immersed in a magnetic field. Whereas with the Focal Clear, this is a, a moving coil design, often known as a dynamic driver. For the Focal Clear, they're using an M-shaped dome aluminum magnesium uh, driver, uh, dynamic driver in here. Um, and it also uses a fully copper voice coil, which is different from the Lear and Alexis uh, copper clad aluminum voice coil. Uh, apparently that makes a difference, but the general design principle for the Focal Clear is a lot more similar to other dynamic driver headphones. The basic idea is that you have a voice coil behind the diaphragm and that's how you get the pistonic motion rather than having it be on top of the, the diaphragm itself. Now for build quality, I think the winners are going to be either the Odyssey LCD X or the Focal Clear, depending on what you value. Um, for like overall solidness. <laughs> uh, the LCD X is the one that feels the most solid, but as far as the aesthetic, uh, I'm a big fan of the way that this looks and feels and is designed and the way that, you know, the cups kind of, you know, uh, are spring-loaded. Um, this just feels great. And so I think it's kind of a tie between these two, but uh, yeah, for overall ruggedness, that is the LCD X. And in third place, we have the Hi-Fi Man Aria. It's not the most sturdy feeling because I think there's a little bit more plastic here, but the benefit is that this does get the weight down quite a bit. And so for comfort, in first place, it's gonna be a tie between the Focal Clear and the Hi-Fi Man Aria. Uh, I, I actually think that for, some, for most people, the Focal Clear is gonna be more comfortable. Um, if you consider that when you wear the Aria, the cups are very large. And that means that they do stick down, protrude down past your jawline a little bit. And you do start to feel it in the back a little bit over time, like the back of your of your neck there. Um, whereas with the Focal Clear, I think it's easier to wear for longer periods of time. Keep in mind that both the Aria and the Clear come in right at around 400 grams, while the LCD X comes in at a whopping 650 grams approximately. I've seen some numbers that are higher and some that are lower. Uh, but as much as the headband design for the LCD X is great uh, and the pads are really soft, 
Uh, this does weigh down your neck quite a bit, and it's just way too heavy in my opinion. But still, I could get through a full day wearing it. It's just that it wasn't as comfortable as wearing either of these. But of course, headphones aren't just about build quality and comfort. We've got to talk about how they sound. So let's start with detail retrieval and image clarity, or what I like to call image clarity. At first, I was, I was thinking, you know, the, the Aria, the Hi-Fi Man Aria is, is the winner. Um, but actually, I think a lot of this comes down to the fact that when you listen to the Odyssey LCD X without EQ, its tonality and frequency response is uh, such that it doesn't really prioritize image clarity all that much in comparison to the other two. And we'll talk about frequency response in a little bit here. But I find that when you do EQ the LCD X, it's very close to the Hi-Fi Man Aria. And I think it's at least as good in the treble, in certain areas of the treble for the LCD X. And then the Focal Clear, again, it's difficult to compare this because we're dealing with characteristics that are a little bit different. Um, it doesn't have the same kind of image separation that the other two do. And so really, I think for what I'm calling here image clarity and detail retrieval, uh, without EQ, the Hi-Fi Man Aria and the Focal Clear are the winners. Uh, in third place is the LCD X. But with EQ, I think both the Aria and the LCD X are about on par, or at least they're very, very close. And then the Focal Clear is just ever so slightly behind. I actually find that the treble for both of the other two is just ever so slightly more transparent. But for the rest of the frequency response, I think it's very close again. Um, and even just when I was doing my comparison, I spent a lot of time going back and forth with all of these. And I kept I kept second guessing myself on the clear. And I think the reason for that is it's just using a different driver type, which has different sonic characteristics. And so that leads into soundstage and imaging next, which I think is one of the reasons why these other two come across with a little bit better image clarity. And it has to do with instrument separation and, and uh, image distinction. And for that, the Hi-Fi Man Aria is clearly a, a number one here. This is, not only is it really good at instrument separation and image, image distinction, it's also got a very expansive and spacious presentation with extremely good depth and the and layering and the ability to look forward into the music and you know isolate all the different individual instrument lines. Um, so again, if you're thinking about you know any time that you're listening to a vocal track with harmonies, it's really easy to isolate the individual layers there, and you can hear very distinctly each individual line that the vocalists are singing. Uh, and so I, I think that the aria does that the best. Uh, second best is the Odyssey LCD X in this regard. Um, it's got good lateral definition. The only downside here with the soundstage is that the, f the center image is very pulled towards me. Um, whereas with the Aria, it's much more out in front. And then with the Focal Clear, the lateral definition isn't as far away from you, but the overall imaging is a lot more even. It's a lot more evenly distributed uh, than, the, than on the LCD X. The one thing to note with the Focal Clear is that it doesn't have as spacious presentation as either of the other two. It's a lot more towards you. So for soundstage, number one is the Hi-Fi Man Aria, number two is the LCD X, and number three is the Focal Clear. And for imaging, number one is the Hi-Fi Man Aria, number two is the Focal Clear, and number three is the LCD X. Now let's talk about dynamics, and this is I think where the biggest difference starts to show up. For the overall sense of punch and slam and dynamic impact, the Focal Clear is in a league of its own. It's far better than either of these other two. This means that anything that you know tokens those bass frequencies is going to be a little bit more fun and engaging to listen to. Um, the LCD X is in second place. Uh, in this department. It's not on the level of the Focal Clear, but it definitely has better slam than the Hi-Fi Man Aria, which is in last place as far as dynamic impact goes. I think that's just the nature of the design here with the large cups, whereas with the uh, the Odyssey LCD X you have cups that kind of seal around your ear a little bit more with the pads. But in general, neither of them are on the same level as the Focal Clear. So really, if you're looking for that, you know, fun, punchy quality, uh, I think the Focal Clear is definitely the best choice to go for here. Now for timbre, I wouldn't really say that one is categorically better than the other. 
Um, and they're, none of these are particularly natural. They're not like a ZMF02 or, or something like that. Uh, but because of its frequency response, I'm going to give, uh, without EQ, the, the HiFiMan Aria gets uh, number one here. Number two is the Focal Clear, and then number three is the LCD-X. But when you EQ the LCD-X, I actually think that this has a better timbre than the HiFiMan Aria even. So uh, really, I think it just depends on whether or not you EQ. And speaking of EQ, let's talk next about frequency response and tonality and tonal balance. And the reason why that matters is because if you're not comfortable EQing, I think the decision becomes a little bit easier amongst these three. At the time of making this video, the LCD-X here, this is, I believe, what we might call the 2020 version with the mesh on the grill here. This one measures particularly poorly in the upper mid-range and lower treble. And so let's take a look at the graphs and we can see that the LCD-X, actually the base sits a little bit below the Harman shelf even though it extends really well. Uh, the biggest problem with the LCD-X is that at the primary ear resonance, it just has no presence there whatsoever. Now, if you're wondering why these don't look like a flat line, that's because these are raw measurements that I'm showing you here. Uh, and then this curve here, the dotted line, is the Harman hybrid that I've put together, which is the Harman base from 2013 and then the Harman 2018 mid-range and treble, because I think this is, this is what I think sounds the most agreeable. Um, the 2018 Harman target is is ridiculous in the bass, so this is a little bit more normal sounding in my opinion. And if you guys want to learn more about why this is not a flat line or the difference between raw and compensated measurements, uh, check out one of the links in the description below as well where you can read up all about those differences. I should probably make a video at some point that explains that so I don't have to keep referencing this, but in general you want the frequency response of a raw measurement to be similar to what this target curve ends up looking like with the rise there at around 1k. You want that rise to be there because that is effectively your ear uh, amplifying those frequencies and that's what your brain expects to hear and it normalizes that. But in any case the LCD-X is the one that deviates the most strongly from this target uh, and so I think without EQ, just by default tonality, both of these two, the Focal Clear and the hi Man Aria, are going to be better choices. They're going to sound much more agreeable just without any kind of adjustment done whatsoever. Now, if you look at the frequency response of the Focal Clear, this is the one that's more in between. This is the one that I think follows this curve a little bit more closely than either of the other two. The LCD-X is quite a bit more muted and muffled by comparison, and the hi fi Man Aria is a little bit more, a little bit brighter there, a little bit, yeah, more uh, treble energy and upper mid-range energy than the uh, than this Harman target here. Whereas the Focal Clear, that's the one that I think is kind of the middle the middle ground headphone. But I do hear ever so slightly a 6K emphasis there. I don't think it's enough that is bothersome. I, f I feel like it just comes across occasionally. The area where the Aria dips in the mid-range, the Focal Clear doesn't. Uh, and then th the Focal Clear also doesn't have that extra emphasis in the upper mid-range that the Aria does. So I, I think, you know, again, the, the balance there for the mid-range is a little better in the Focal Clear. Uh, whereas the balance for the treble is a little bit better on the hi fi man aria and for bass you know they're both excellent in the bass they both have great bass extension the arias is a little bit more linear and flat whereas the focal clear is a little bit more contoured there in the bass so it dips a little bit more in the transition between the bass and mid-range meaning that the bass is a little more distinct and noticeable, whereas with the uh, hi Man Aria, it's it's very flat all the way down. And that means that you may get a little bit more sub bass there on the Aria. Uh, I think this also depends if you're wearing glasses, it, and weirdly, if you're wearing glasses with the Aria, like with the thick uh, sides to them, it, you almost get more bass out of it. And I think that's actually because of the, the, the front seal, like the headphones tuning is done in a way that assumes it's sealed on your head like this. And so once it's a little bit off like this, the bass just kind of goes up. Uh, which is kind of a cool uh, little thing to notice about that. Whereas again, the Focal Clear is a little bit more normal in that sense. It does. It, it definitely depends on the seal a little bit as well. But I find that it has the opposite effect, where when you break the seal, you lose a bit of the bass. So, uh, in any case, they're both excellent for tonality, and I wouldn't really need to EQ either of these. You can EQ if you want to, uh, but. Uh, I think they're both uh, totally fine as is and they don't require it whatsoever. So which one of these three is the best one to buy? That's what we're here to figure out. Well, if you're not comfortable doing any kind of EQ whatsoever, uh, the LCD-X, you can already cross this one off. I think that's not going to be as good as either of the other two because it is quite a bit more muted and muffled there in the upper mid-range. If you are comfortable doing EQ, then that 
then this gets quite a bit more interesting, I think. Um, but let's just imagine that you're not comfortable doing it, and then it's between the Focal Clear and the Haifa Man Aria. And I think if you want the punch and slam and that kind of fun, engaging, dynamic quality, it's the Focal Clear. If you want space and stage and layering and depth, that's the Hi-Fi Man Aria. And then for tonal balance, they're both excellent. The Aria is a little bit more upper mid-range and treble focused, whereas the Focal Clear is a little bit more mids and lower mids and bass focused. But they're both fantastic uh, across the board. And I think it really just comes down to preference at that point. Now, if you are comfortable doing EQ, this is where the LCD X I think starts to gain a bit of value because once again it's the middle ground between the other two as far as both dynamic impact and slam and stage and also detail is concerned and it's also quite a bit cheaper. So if you want to get the most out of your money the LCD X may actually be you know the best middle ground amongst all of these because it does respond very well to EQ and if you guys want to see my EQ profile for that uh, again I'll leave a link in the description for that. I've actually done a whole video on EQing the LCD X. So for those of you guys who are into that kind of thing this this is definitely going to be uh, worth consideration. But if you ask me which of these three is your favorite? Like, you know, my own personal preference. I think I would probably gravitate more to the Hi-Fi Man Aria. I think this is the one that I would end up buying because I really value that sense of soundstage layering and depth. And then I also really enjoy its treble balance. But with that said, I also think that one of the reasons for this is because I like to listen to, you know, acoustic music, jazz music, classical music, that kind of stuff, music with instruments. And for that, the upper mid-range presence that the Hi-Fi Man Aria has and the balance that it has there is really, really, really good. And I think that's the reason why I would gravitate towards this. Whereas if you're listening to stuff that's a little bit more, let's say, you know, pop and rock and EDM um, and even metal, the Focal Clear is the one that I think is more fun to listen to especially because it has that punch and slam quality that the others just don't have. So as I mentioned, I can very easily see someone preferring the Focal Clear over the Hi-Fi Man Aria. I think really that's just what it comes down to. Which qualities are you specifically looking for? Are you looking for punch and slam? Then yes, the Focal Clear is the one to go for. If your music benefits from that quality and you want to feel that in your music, then yes, the Focal Clear is the way to go. If you want that sort of spacious and large presentation, um, and you do listen to jazz music and classical and that kind of stuff, then I think that the Hi-Fi Man Aria is still worth the extra price increase over the over the other two. But keep in mind that the LCD-X is also the least expensive among these, and so it's really worth considering if, if value is something that you're looking for, and then you just EQ it, and then it sounds amazing. And lastly, the other consideration with the Odyssey LCD-X is that you do get Reveal Plus. For anybody who's wondering what that is, that's Odyssey's EQ preset that they've already developed for their headphones. Unfortunately, I found that the Reveal Plus for the LCD-X was just a little bit too conservative for my liking. It didn't boost the upper mid-range enough, uh, but apparently they've recently released a new version of Re Reveal Plus, and this is something that I think is just going to improve over time as well. So, you know, if you're buying a headphone and you wanna know that it's supported for a long time uh, by the manufacturer, uh, Odyssey is definitely uh, leading the charge on that with Reveal Plus. Anyways, as I mentioned, I'll be posting all the measurements for these on the headphone community forum so you can see the comparison there. Uh, but that does it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.